Four years ago, Parkinson's kept Nathan Klein from his favorite pastime. Even walking was difficult. Today, he's back in the saddle. I feel great. So I swim, ride my bike, um, do everything that anybody that's normal can do. Klein was a guinea pig, the first patient ever to undergo gene therapy to treat the incurable brain disorder, which affects as many as a million and a half Americans, including Michael J. Fox and Muhammad Ali. With Parkinson's, part of the brain becomes overactive, triggering abnormal movements like tremors and stiffness. For the experiment, published in the journal Lancet today, doctors took a gene, packaged it into a harmless virus, and injected it directly into the brain. In theory, that gene calms down the abnormal activity. Well, our hope is that this is... This will, in the future, be considered the first major milestone in the creation of a whole new field of medicine for brain diseases. Of the 12 patients in the study, all of them showed at least a 25 percent improvement. Five, including Nathan, saw their symptoms improve up to 65 percent. The trial group of 12 was small by most standards, but passed the safety test. The next rounds will be larger and are designed to show if the gene therapy's benefits are real and long-lasting. I think it's a very important first step in gene therapy for Parkinson's. It's, it's, it's treating the symptoms of Parkinson's, not the underlying defect in Parkinson's. It may not be a cure, but for Nathan Klein, it made all the difference. It saved my life. There's no way, there's no toys about it. I'm better, I feel better, I act better. For those suffering with Parkinson's, the results, no matter how preliminary, offer hope. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.